Hey guys, it's your boy, the tech guy, back again for another tutorial video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to download a VPN that is quite easy to install. No need to even install, um, you know, installation, no need for that. It's portable, you can put it on your USB, you can take it to your school, put it on a USB, drag and drop, you'll be able to, you know, play them flash games you want to play <laughs> at school. And um, yeah, this one is quite good and quite easy to use and it's free too so yeah i'll show you guys how to download it it's called Pisces. it's right here beyond borders okay i don't know why they use that slogan but you know i was going to use it in schools public you know wi-fi it's good for using it so your stuff don't get stolen especially your cookies you gotta know where your cookies are I was going cookies are your personal information that Google Chrome keeps, you know, when you sign it using your Gmail account. So it basically saves everything. Your card numbers, you know, phone numbers, everything that I was going personal, uh, 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 I was going information, it just keeps it. So, but this is very good because no one can spy on you. Check what you're doing if you're connected to a public Wi-Fi. You can also use it for um mm -hmm. uh, always go like your like I was go like if your country is you know blocking certain websites you can't go on it. This is the one you can use. Especially people in China can't really log on to certain websites. I have friends that um Oh, I live in China. They have to use WeChat. It's kind of shit. They can't even log into like Instagram, Facebook, none of that. They can't even use it because they got banned where they, where they live. But basically, this this VPN is quite decent. It's really good for the. I was over the thing is like this VPN is for free. So just click download. And you can download it for Mac OS X, but I don't know if you have to pay for Mac OS X. You can go check it out. They're probably gonna ask you to pay because Mac is, you know, it's, it's it's sometimes stingy, so you have to pay money to, you know. But for Windows, it's for free, so that's the thing. I'm making this tutorial for Windows users. You can install it for Windows Seven, Windows Eight desktop, and Windows Ten. And there was and there is some build for. Windows XP and Visca, you just need to click here. It's basically the same sort of thing, but I don't know how you're gonna get it to work on Windows Visca because it's quite an old operating system, even Windows XP, but Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10, Windows 11, just follow the same tutorial uh, I was gonna, I'm showing you. So, so now I just go to direct downloads, go to down here, press it for Windows, click on that, and then click save to your desktop, or you can save it to your downloads file on your Windows. But me, yeah, I'm just gonna save it to my downloads because that's where I save my downloads. After that, it's basically drag and drop, no need to even install, install that to your direct file. Uh, I was going inside your PC, no need for that. It's just a portable, portable application. You can just drag and drop it onto, I was going to USB hard drive. You can take it to school, you know what I'm saying? All those sort of things if you want to do. And, um, and it's only 7.54 megabits. It's not even that big. It's quite small. You can fit it in like 112 megabits. USB if you wanted to. Okay. Enough making jokes. Um okay, let's go click on it. Oh, you know. Or just right click and run as administrator, but doesn't mean I don't know also no need to do that. But people in the comments are gonna say, bro, just run it as oh, let's go administrator. So I'm just gonna run it as administrator. Yes. Yes, now I click yes. Now it will take time to start up as no virus. I was going to Windows Defender would have. Uh, I was going to pick something up either way. I was going to if, the, I was gonna, if there was a virus anyway. So, yeah. I will just go down. Now you can go and select 
the server region i'm gonna do um japan okay and that's gonna disconnect and connect again and then it's gonna open your browser and then it's gonna show you ip address so apparently my location is in tokyo japan and my ip address is this and now i can type up google inspect see what happens okay google office and thing oh japanese and now i was gonna continue in japanese if i want but i don't even speak japanese and i don't even know what japanese i don't even know how to even you know read it so i'll oh, write it too so but that's basically it that's how you change your ip just by easy i was going it's not rocket science but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial video hopefully i made you crack a laugh or not but yeah stay safe and i'm recording this on new year for me so happy new year peace